Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next live attack video. Um, I'm pretty sure this video is going to be uploaded a few days after I actually record it because um, as you guys will have heard by the time you're seeing this video, I'm going to be on vacation for a few days. So I am pre-recording a few videos kind of like this one where it doesn't really matter exactly what day it's uploaded because you still won't know whether or not I three-starred this base um, even though it's a few days after. So it should still make for a good video, it shouldn't be any different just because it's being uploaded a few days later. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try to get the three star in this war, uh, probably my last war before I leave. So anyway, uh, my first attack was a three star, pretty close. This one is a little bit of a better base and uh, it's going to take a pretty solid plan to get the three star because it does have some pretty high level defenses and these bases, even though they're not really anti three, are never easy to three star. Um, especially because my king's only 30. I know that's not exactly low-level heroes, 38-30 for some people, but for kind of the one hive clans and the top war attackers, uh, that's pretty low for a Town Hall 10. So that's just kind of my uh, perspective on it. The plan <clears throat> is this. I'm going to drop down a few minions right here, uh, probably like three to take out these two buildings. I'm going to do a giant with the four healers on it. And I'm not sure how that's going to play out. I think the three point defense will get through that giant because it's pretty high level point defense. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing the giant will go down uh, after a few moments, but that should at least give my queen a little bit of time. I'm going to drop her down right here on that builder hut to start working. Um, as long as these two buildings go down, she should uh, you know, take that out and then continue off to the right here. If I'm lucky, I don't have to use a rage on her. It depends kind of how the giant does, but I'm hoping I can avoid using a rage and that'd be pretty uh, crucial uh, if everything works out okay and save that rage for later. But I do have it if I need it, I guess is what I'm saying. So the queen's going to head to the right. If everything goes correctly, take out all four of those point defense. Then I'm going to, as soon as the uh, cannon locks on, I'm going to wall breaker in right here. I'll have one minion here, by the way, to take that out to kind of help funnel her into that compartment. She'll get in there, take out the queen, should take out like these four buildings. Um, along the way, I should have mentioned this before, I have a uh, hog for the CC troops. So as soon as she starts taking these out, I'll drop in the hog, get the lure. She might lure it out anyway if she gets close enough because the CC is pretty exposed. But I have the hog just in case. Um, it's some minions and some witches. So as long as I get the poison down in the right spot, I shouldn't need to use anything to keep her up. She should be just fine. And once uh, she enters that compartment, I have her ability, if I need it, to take out the defensive queen. I can also poison the queen. So I have a few different options. Just going to have to play it by ear, see what the queen needs. And then from there, um, she might like double back out, which is fine. Or she might stay in here and go for a wall. I'm not exactly sure. But either way, it doesn't matter. Her job will be done. Um, at that point, I'm going to start in with my golem. So I'm going to drop down a golem and like two wizards. Let that golem take out that building, uh, the archer tower, and let it go down. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and just use... I'm thinking I'm going to do a jump. I'm still kind of on the fence. I could change it in these next minute or so. But I'm just going to try to talk myself through it. This expo, the wizard tower, the mortar, especially the cannon that can kind of get something over here. I just feel like I need to use the jump here to let everything on in. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's, I think I'm going to have to do it. Um, and probably going to drop the jump over a little ways. This way I can decide where the king and the golem enter the base. I think that's pretty important, and I just can't afford a wall breaker fail here. It would screw up the whole attack. So I know I've done this type of attack before, and I've used the jump. I've not used the jump, um, but I'm going to go ahead and use the jump. Maybe this will cost me the, the three-star. Maybe it'll save me the three-star. We'll see how it works out. But I'm going to drop the jump right like there. Um, I'll send in like one additional Valk. Also, I'm going to have two baby dragons, so I know this is getting kind of complicated, but baby dragon here and baby dragon here. Um, hopefully, there's no air traps. There were a few air traps at the top of the base on the first attack, um, but hopefully nothing on the second. And by the way, all four Teslas are in the core here, uh, if that wasn't obvious with these types of bases. They tend to have the, the core Teslas. So uh, the two baby dragons will get, go in there, grab that cannon, grab that archer tower. Pretty important that both of those go down. I'll drop those in about the same time I drop in the golem and the king. So as soon as they enter the base, they're going to clear out the other side of the funnel, 
right here. So now I have a funnel there, funnel here. At this point, giant to tank, four wall breakers. As long as the cannon is down, they should just go straight for this wall right here, take it out. I'll just kind of send in my Valks right in here, have the jump. I have a rage and a heal for them. And depending on how the queen does, I could have a second rage. So I can drop the first rage early if I know I have the second one. But they should get in there, clear out the core of the base. Then the queen, whatever's left over, hopefully you can get the rest of the base. I will have like a balloon, a few minions to try to get these cannons because they're pretty exposed. Um, but that's pretty much the plan. I know it's a little bit complicated. Um, hopefully I can get the three star and we'll just kind of see how this one goes. I'm not exactly sure how it will. I did turn off my notifications for the most part, so shouldn't have an issue there. Uh, let's go ahead, make sure we have everything. We have the Valks. I'll probably send in like one Valk with my king uh, to help clear out the other side of the funnel. But the two jumps, the two rages, the poisons, the king, the queen, the heal, um, everything's actually looking really good here. Yeah, okay, got everything. Uh, as long as I don't forget any parts of the plan, we should be fine. We're taking a look at number 13 here and uh, let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. You can see the CC radius is close. The queen might aggro it but I have the hog because I'm suspecting she won't, at least she won't get the full lure. So anyway, let me just go through it one more time. I'm gonna have the minions here, uh, the one minion there, the giant, the four healers, then let the queen go. And then from there, just hopefully everything works out. Not sure at all how this attack will go, but no more wasting time. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, yep, okay, here we go. Let's get these minions going. Um, one, two, three, four, minion there, giant, one, two, three, four, queen, yeah, I ripped that giant, it is down pretty quickly, uh, I'm not sure if I, how, I'm going to use the rage on the queen, we'll see how this works, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and rage her up, there's the CC, uh, not a full lure. There still is the witch in there, I believe. So let's get that lured out. Yep, there goes the witch. We'll go ahead and go ahead and poison her again. Ooh, this is taking a while. Um, okay, let's get these going. Oil breaker on in. I have the queen's ability. Uh, I might not even have to use it actually. We'll just keep an eye on her as she goes. Baby dragon, baby dragon. Ah, oh, rip that baby dragon. Uh, okay, boom. There goes all of that. Let's see, giant. There you go, wall breakers. All right, everything is going in okay. Here's the jump, the rage, get in there. There's the heal. Not sure how they're gonna do against this core. All right, queen, go on in. See the Valks making their way through. Get that Inferno Tower. Boom, got it, okay. All right, great, the healers are on the Valks. That's actually good. Pop the queen's ability. Um, we'll do the balloon here. Um, the minion there. Oh, this is going to be close. Uh, let's get the wizard down up there. 47 seconds. I think we have the troop power. The healer is on the king. This one's going to be a time issue. I think we might get this. I don't know. That archer tower is kind of protected. Um, come on, minions to get that cannon taken out. Uh, this is going to be close. Yeah, we got this. Ooh, that was a close one, guys, but I'm getting the six-star war. You might notice I stopped talking, I think, for, I think I did, for part of the attack because I was just so zoned in. But, um, yep, no corner of builder huts as I checked. Awesome. Okay, that was, that was a nice attack. Felt, felt really smooth. Uh, let's take a look at the replay see what went well, what could have been improved, but I think for the most part, um, I'll give myself a little woo, and then for the most part, I think everything went pretty smoothly. 
Let's take a look at the queen first and foremost. I'm going to drop her down in just a moment. It looks like I had about 15 seconds to spare on this attack. So the minions go down. Wanted to make sure I got enough down to make sure the funnel was perfect. Couldn't afford to have the queen walking on me. Then there goes the giant. It actually went deeper into the base than I thought. It went all the way to the archer tower. So the four point defense got it down in a matter of moments. Uh, so it didn't get a whole lot of value, but at least delayed the rage for a little bit. So I could drop the rage a little later. And there go the CC troops. I think the minion actually got the CC lure, which is why... Actually, I don't know what happened. Um, something lured out the CC. The hog got the rest of it there. And the poison was kind of wearing off. So I decided to go ahead and to speed things up, if nothing else. Just drop that poison. Get the witch dead as soon as possible. Because uh, it's taking a lot of time from the queen. Uh, but right there, she'll take out the witch. Wall breakers open everything up. The minion up top did a good job. Took out those tr two trash buildings. Uh, so created the funnel very nicely. Queen's going to keep working. Uh, really no point defense on her, so she gets in there. I think she took out the queen just fine. That one baby dragon was uh, hit by a seeking air mine. I was afraid that would happen, but the more important baby dragon got the job done by taking out that cannon, uh, which was important for the wall breakers. So that went well. Um, the golem goes in with the jump there. The jump was a good decision. I did not want to deal with the wizard tower and all that stuff, taking out my wall breakers. And also it helped me direct exactly where I wanted them to enter the base. They could have been a little higher because right here, they're still leaving a lot for the Valks to have to take out. But the king actually does double back up top and help the Valks out and actually enter the base with them or enter the core of the base, which worked out well. The queen, awesome. She doubled back, which helped take out that archer tower that didn't go down. I dropped the spells a little early, but the first few Valks went in before the main group. So at least they got the benefit of the spells. Right here, a bunch of, uh, it looks like the king and some scaly traps slow things down, which made it me think I was going to kind of lose all my troops. But I still had a number of Valks left up when all the smoke cleared. And uh, you can see they're going to get in there, get those air defenses, which will keep that last healer alive. So that worked out nicely. The one healer stayed up. And at this point, it really helped. I wasn't, when I was playing this attack, I originally had more Valks and less minions. I think having that minion, that balloon, just some of those air troops I added really got some awesome value because I'm getting those cannons, which would be very difficult for the Valks because they're in their own compartment. So they would have to go wall through wall and only like three or four Valks, it would take them forever. So it worked out awesome that I had these little air troops. And because this guy put all his air traps at the top, which I saw in the first attack, in the bottom, which took out that one baby dragon, there was nothing left to take out, well, except for that one air trap, nothing left to take out my air troops on the left. So that was actually a really important part of the attack, even though it might not have seemed like it. So yeah, I mean, not really much I would do to change that. I think it worked out really nicely. Um, yeah, I guess the moral of the story is if you can get those Valks in the core, they can do some damage to those quad Inferno Towers, or the quad Teslas, I mean, in the Inferno Towers. When all that stuff's concentrated in the core, do what you have to do to get your Valks in the middle, and then save a few troops for the outside of the base to take out those lingering cannons and archer towers with some balloons or minions or hogs or whatever. So anyway, uh, that's how you beat these ring bases. I'm getting pretty good at doing it, and uh, hopefully this war, uh, well actually we've already won this war pretty much, but hopefully uh, we clear out, you know, we could get a perfect war. So anyway, I'm kind of rambling, but thanks for watching this video, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess, by Sectatron out.